Since I made my video about the border states and the Civil War, I've gotten a lot of questions and comments about what the cause of the Civil War was. This is a good question, but the answer is simply of a controversy among Civil War historians. The debate is made up of two sides, one saying the war was over slavery, and the other saying the war was a struggle for states' rights. I'd like to discuss today what these two sides are basically saying, why they are saying them, and which one is right. This side of the debate, that the Civil War was fought over slavery and abolition, is the most common one. A majority of Americans, regardless of race, political party, age, all of them, agree that the war was fought for abolition. This seems to make the most sense. It's the most mainstream opinion, and it's what nearly everyone is taught from a young age. And that makes sense. Lincoln was the first Republican president, and the Republican Party had many extreme abolitionists in it. Before Lincoln could take office, many Confederate states had early, already left the Union. All of these states were slave states, and many in the Confederate government, including the vice president, made it clear that this war was about preserving slavery. The vice president of the Confederacy, Alexander Stevens, even went so far as to say, quote, Our new government was founded on slavery. Its foundations are laid. Its cornerstone rests upon the great truth that the Negro is not equal to the white man. That slavery, submission to the superior race, is his natural and normal condition. This, our new government, is the first in the history of the world based upon this great physical, philosophical, and moral truth, end quote. He says right there, not only that he believes personally that the Confederacy was for slavery, that slavery was a right and natural condition of things, but by being vice president, speaking on behalf of the Confederate government as a representative, he so spoke for the whole of the Confederate cause. Later, after a number of states already became rebellious, Confederates attacked Fort Sumter, firing the first shots of the war, and a number of other states left. Midway through the war, Abe Lincoln signed the Emancipation Proclamation, freeing nearly every slave. If the war wasn't already about slavery, the Emancipation made it about slavery, and that is actually one of the main reasons why it was signed. Lincoln, fearing that the UK and France might choose to support the Confederacy, their main source of crops like cotton, made the Emancipation Proclamation. These European countries might be willing to help the Confederates if the North seemed like they were just trying to hold on to their land, but if the North was fighting for, to free slaves, the UK couldn't be on the wrong side of that since they freed slaves nearly 30 years before. There were also other strategic reasons for emancipation. Like if slaves managed to escape plantations in the South, hunting them and returning them to their owners would no longer be legal. It also allowed for black men to fight in the Union in the war, which would help because the Union could always use more soldiers. Lincoln later saw through the 13th Amendment, which freed all slaves everywhere, and in the wake of his death, the 14th and 15th Amendments, protecting the civil rights and voting rights of all citizens everywhere, regardless of their skin color, was passed. These were undeniably great things which helped to define America's soul and gave millions of Americans a freedom that had been stolen from them. Afterwards, the South, deeply racist and hoping to hold on to their awful power, continued to oppress African Americans. They intimidated them out of voting. They intimidated them out of integration. They enforced segregation. They frequently lynched and killed their black neighbors in the worst in most awful ways imaginable. The South made life hell for anyone who was black, and many who were white but even showed an even a shred of empathy towards African Americans. Segregation lasted for 100 years after the end of the Civil War. Discrimination lasts to this day, and will probably never totally be gone. But for all the progress that has been made, it seems that the Civil War, and more specifically Abe Lincoln, the Great Emancipator, is responsible. Lincoln was put in an uncomfortable position when the South became rebels, but he made the easy decision to make this a campaign for liberty, to free all slaves everywhere with this war. Given the common understanding of this war, that's just what makes sense, and most of us only ever see this side of the argument. But it is an argument, and it has multiple sides, which makes things a bit more complicated. Lost causers believe the war wasn't about slavery, or that the South was in the right, or that slavery was a good thing for slaves, or 
those who carry on this particularly awful legacy of the South proudly. Really, there are so many different sorts of lost causers, all believing different things, so it's hard to call them all of one thing or all of the other. And while I may disagree with most of their opinions on the war, a lot of people find their arguments convincing. When talking with a lost causer, one of the first things you'll be told about their argument is one particular letter from Abe Lincoln. Lincoln says in this letter that, quote, My paramount object in this struggle is to save the Union, and is not either to save or destroy slavery. If I could save the Union without freeing any slave, I would do it. And if I could save it by freeing all the slaves, I would do it. And if I could save it by freeing some and leaving others, I would also do that. What I do about slavery and the colored race, I do because I believe it helps to save this union. And what I forbear, I forbear because I do not believe it would help to save the union." Unquote. What Lincoln says here is somewhat shocking when you hear it the first time, but it's a real letter. What he's saying is that slavery really doesn't matter much to him as president. His foremost goal is to put the war to an end. Whether that means freeing all slaves, freeing no slaves, or whatever else. While Lincoln was definitely an abolitionist personally, he knew it was the most controversial issue in the country, really in all of the world, and he also knew that it was his duty to protect the Union, to keep the states together. No matter how much he or anyone else hated slavery, he knew that just out and banning it would only make the situation worse all around. He needed to be diplomatic. Lost causers will also argue that Lincoln was a tyrant, and there's some truth to that. Lincoln arrested Confederate sympathizing governors. He suspended the writ of habeas corpus, meaning that the government can now arrest anyone for any reason for any amount of time. Compared with the other presidents, Lincoln is definitely the most authoritarian of them all. But what lost causers don't like to point out is that Jefferson Davis, Confederate president, also suspended habeas corpus around the same time Lincoln did. If Lincoln was a tyrant, the Confederate government was just as tyrannical. You could basically sum up the whole of the Lost Causers argument with just two words, states' rights. This might seem like a reasonable argument. Many Confederates said they were fighting for state rights in their day, and today, that is what any Confederate sympathizer would tell you what the war was about. Not slavery, but states' rights. But you've got to ask the question, states' rights to do what? It wasn't states' rights to set their own taxes. It wasn't states' rights to build their own roads and schools. It wasn't states' rights to do anything other than slavery. When someone argues the war was for states' rights, they're arguing the war wasn't about slavery, but the right to keep slaves, which is really the same thing. There are a number of other arguments with the lost cause, but it's almost certainly true that this awful war was about slavery all around. One of the few convincing arguments for the lost cause, and in particular keeping the Confederate flag flying in the United States, is heritage, not hate. I think most people can appreciate that the large majority of Confederate soldiers weren't slaveholders. Many didn't even believe in the cause, they were just drafted to fight. These particular lost causers celebrate these soldiers, but also the Confederate cause more broadly. But then you've got to ask. If you fly the Confederate flag to celebrate your heritage, why celebrate the worst legacy of the South? Why celebrate people who were literally trying to destroy the country? Why celebrate the most despicable legacy of the South? There are plenty of things to be proud of as a Southerner. If you could only celebrate Southern heritage with a symbol of the Confederacy, a symbol of hate, how could you say that this is about heritage and not hate. If the only heritage you feel the need to remember is one intertwined with slavery, how is this about heritage at all? So why? If this argument is almost fully plain and true, and their arguments are easily proven wrong, why did this sort of belief come about? Really, it started the moment the Confederacy lost the war. But this lost cause movement really became important with the daughters and sons of the Confederacy and Confederate soldiers. These groups, as well as a number of others, celebrated this particular part of Southern history, and they brought up statues of Confederate generals. They celebrated Southern history, but while also trying to rewrite it, 
to make the Confederates into noble heroes of the war, honorable and just, instead of the villains that they were. They tried to forget the atrocities of the South, like Fort Pillow, or any number of the massacres against free blacks and slaves. Instead, they tell you how the Southern cause was really good. The Confederates were great people with strong moral codes and a greater moral cause behind them to protect their liberties. But in reality, the only liberty they were fighting for was the right to own slaves. Other people.